Welcome to your doom. Shut it and get up here. <laughs> Massive up the course. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Jab Jab Show. Now today it's another unboxing. Blooming neck, another one. What's happening? Anyway, the last unboxing I did was uh, the, had all the things I bought over three weeks, three four weeks or so since the one before. Uh, this all this here, well you can't quite see it at the moment. All the things that you see in this video is what I done, what I done bought on one single day at a car boot car boot sale. Uh, basically, um, the Sunday just gone. Uh, yeah, um, it's all on there. I went to the same place I went to last time for the car boot sale, um, and, and it's at full strength. This week is at full strength. In fact, it's very, very busy. Lots of everything there, and it's lovely stuff. Without further ado, here we go. Okay, so as you can see, quite crowded here. Let's push that to one side with case. I'll push it to the side just in case. I came up with that just then. Anyway, anyway, bad jokes out of the way. Possibly. I'll say I've got some videos there, I'll be going through them. First video I've got, Led Zeppelin the song remains the same. Um yeah, um fan of Led Zeppelin, yeah, done, done some pretty good stuff, haven't they? Um so I just got that from actually actually I lied to you I'll slightly I got this from a, a charity shop, uh, 50p I found it, I can't remember which one. So I got this from a charity shop, I can't remember which one, but this isn't from the car boot sale, I kinda lied. Anyway, so that one's there. Video as you can see. Uh yeah, it's got all the all the people in there. John Bonham, John JP Jones, J Jimmy Page, Robert Plant, they're all involved in things. I'm gonna give that a watch, all the stuff. These oh, if I can put them in, in any way you can see them all. As you can see from that, WrestleMania 7. Uh, you got Survivor Series, uh, something or that. The third annual Survivor Series. I think I've already got this on DVD. Uh, uh, trying to make some sense out of this. See, that's, that's all in shot. Wrestling videos. Love wrestling, especially from back in the day like these are. Late, uh, early 90s, late 80s and so on. Um, one from 97 as well. Basically, yeah, uh, 50p each these were. Some I saw them. So you know, selling them or what have you. So I thought 50p, I asked and said, yeah, why not? So this is Whale Rumble 97, 97, yeah. Whale Rumble 97, I love Whale Rumble, it's my favourite like, big, big wrestling event to be honest. Uh, you got Challenger Shawn Michaels versus Champion Cycle Sid. Uh, Undertaker versus Vader, not Darth Vader, Big Van Vader I'm talking about. Ahmed Johnson against Farouk and Goldust against Hunter Hearst Helmley. Look at him. This is Hunter Hearst Helmley, Triple H if you will. Um, there he is, there. Uh, so a world rumble there, 30, uh, was it? 30 men, one winner. I can't remember if actually won this one. Uh, I'm not sure, I thought it would have been Shawn Michaels, but he's actually fighting Cycle Sid, well, so I'm guessing it's someone else. Um, I think one of my favourite rumbles was back in 94, I think it was. And Diesel was just clearing out, so it's just leather and everyone got on here. Uh, four by fours with Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Oh! <laughs> or oh, uh, there against the King's Court, which is Randy Savage and some other people. Dino Bravo, I think, is one of them. Yeah, so anyway, it's uh, lovely stuff. Someone bought it for seven ninety nine at one point. Uh, okay, next one, WrestleMania 7. <laughs> this is quite. This is, they won't do anything like this nowadays, WrestleMania. Okay, the United States was in the midst of the Gulf War, and the World Wrestling Federation champion was a detestable loyalist of Adam, Iraq Saddam Hussein, Sergeant Slaughter. They're not going to touch that kind of thing nowadays, are they? <laughs> so the uh, Sergeant Slaughter representing the, you know, the evil despot against all American Hulk Hogan. Look at him, uh, Rampage ninety one. Uh, when it's like two hours, it's come out in 1990, was it? I'm trying to work out, 1980. I can't be 1980s, yeah. No, it's not 1980. It's got a British Bulldog and I think that's all the that warrior. And on the back, it's got Ricky Dragon, Steamboat, and uh, Jake the Snake. So there you go, wrestling videos. I've got some more videos here. I've got a couple of X Rentals. LA Confidential. 
it's a great film. Uh, I did have this on Lex Rental, I got rid of it at some point. Uh, I've got it on DVD, I think it's got commentary and other things on it. But Lex Rental, yeah, LA Confidential. Um, yeah, and it's got one of the things on, the parental guidance things, so I like reading these out, so anyway. <laughs> but here we go, any concerned parents out there? Before you give your child an ancient rated film, read this, or listen to me saying it. Okay, theme contents, theme slash contents. Th thriller, pre police corruption, bad language, frequent, and it's coarse as well. Uh, sex slash nudity, occasional, moderate. Uh, violence, frequent, strong, so beware, you know. If your child's not 18, oh, I'm just saying them police might knock on, you know, if you if they suspect you're watching like LA Confidential with people under 18. They don't want to take too, too lightly, I don't know, something like that anyway. Uh, the other one, another classic, Home Alone 2. <laughs> we already, I think we already got this from my own video. Uh, Home Alone 1 and 2. Uh, great Christmas films, aren't they? So, um, this is not my words, but I do like it. It's a scream from start to finish. I'm not talking about the film Scream, I'm talking about this one. This is quoted from The Sun, The Sun Newspapers. And look at look, Robin Williams' toys coming soon, so watch out for that one. Back in the early 90s. Anyway, so. Oh, they've not rewound it! What's going on? It's got a label on there. Yeah, Robin Williams Toys coming soon. And it's an official Fox video, so, you know, no cops will be knocking on saying you got off counterfeit video of, uh, toys of uh, Home Alone 2. We'd like to accompany you down to the station for more questioning. Can't do that because it's all official. Uh, yeah, so we've got them too, uh, Experimentals, they were 50p each I think, not a lot of money. Um, okay, to DVDs now. Right, one DVD, it's actually a box set. Uh, yeah, Planet of the Apes, these are the original um, five films um, that came out in 1972 and so forth. Um, and so on and so on. And I've not got these on DVD before, uh, basically. Um, I think I've mentioned in a couple of videos or so before, um, when I look for DVDs on Blu-rays, um, I do go f see if we can go for the best version out there as in terms of extras and so forth. Um, there's certain videos, certain films, you say, for whatever reason, I don't know, um, that are way too expensive for my liking. Um, you know, it, it's like virtual games, you, you know, that, our budget and um, some things are just too crazily, crazily expensive. So anyway, the thing with the Planet of the Apes DVDs um, box sets, on the Blu-ray box sets, I'm, I'm guessing the Blu-rays would be better extras wise. I don't know, um, region ones as well, so they kind of muddy the water. These have been re-released re several times on various formats and I don't know which one to get because there's no website out there that says which what which box it has the best extras on. Um, the, you can get websites and tell you which individual, for example, say beneath the Planet of the Apes, but into a website that does all this thing and it tell you what's the best ex version to get for that film on its own, but nothing has a box there. So anyway, um, this is um, let's see special edition DVD we do or something. <laughs> um, it tells you what extras are, there's no commentaries or anything. There's fault galleries, still galleries, cast pages, trailers, TV spots, that kind of thing, you know. So it's alright. So, um, yeah, five, five, um, how many? five discs, um, two pound, two pound. Lovely. Bite your hand off for that. There's no point in uh, looking online, I'm going to buy it now. Another one. Another one uh, that I got is Tommy, two disc, yeah? Um That's about the Who. The Who? <laughs> yeah, I'm being a right laugh. Uh, two disc, collector's edition, it's got all the main people involved. Also, Elton John, Paul Nicholas, uh, Eric Clapton, Dean and Circa, Jack Nicholson, for some reason, he's not a singer, is he? Uh, but he's in there. <laughs> um, Oliver Reed, again, a uh, hell raising actor he was. Um, brr, what a cheeky one he was. Uh, Ken Russell directed this. Uh, he talks to Matt Kamod, one of the extras on air. Uh, director's commentary. Uh, Anne Margaret spills the beans. I don't know who, who uh, picks them up. Don't know if she spills the beans. A bit careless. Anyway, that was two quid, I think it was. And last but not, well, I'd say last but not least, but last in this bag anyway. 
Um, I've seen this. There's a ton of um, books. Uh, I just can't believe there's a ton of everything, like I say. There's like lots of everything. I just happened to see this. Yeah, James Cameron, um, Ghost of the Abyss. Now, I do have a doc He did a couple of documentaries, Ghost of the Abyss, and um, between Titanic and Avatar, there's a lot of these 12 years. In between then, among other things, he was in Entourage, a few episodes of that. Also, we did two documentaries, both yeah, Ghost of the Abyss and Aliens of the Deep, which is the DVD I've got. I've got that. It uh, goes down in the sea with a lot of marine biologists, I guess, yeah, and submarineologists. I don't know. Anyway, and he goes down collecting stuff and... and um, Documenting things, you know, it's a really good documentary if you, if you go and find them both. And I've got Aliens of the Deep, I think I've got this one as well, but I've got the book now. Um, this is really, really uh, interesting stuff. It's got little pictures and stuff of the inside of the Titanic because he goes look for the Titanic. And there he is, studying things, Mr. James Cameron. And it's, yeah, little pre pictures and stuff of artifacts and what have you in the Titanic because obviously it's a big thing for him um, and that was 20p that book 20p what the heck I don't know I just thought yeah why not I, I, I gambled <laughs> anyway here's another gamble this is my um, what, the French, what the French like to say all the time piece of resistance or something this is a case just in case you didn't know, it's a case. I think I've had a case joke before, I don't know. This, <laughs> this is what, this is great stuff. Look at that. <laughs> right, what you do, as you can see, <clears throat> Phillips something or other, Whitbreadings, Luton, come all over here Luton at some point. Um, this was, a gamble. I bought this as a gamble. This is basically a video recorder that you put actual full size VHS tapes in, like VHS tape as in that size thing. Uh, the, you know, the home loan, you know, the, the video full size VHS. Also, in distinct, distinct between VHS C, which is a smaller size VHS. Same kind of quality footage and that, but a smaller tape. This is full size VHS. You put it in there, as you can see. <laughs> dusty, lovely stuff. Uh, viewfinder, hang on, it's got it's got batteries as well. So you get the battery out. Batteries in there. There you go. Got like a load in a gun or something. Got battery. I don't know. I've not looked online if these batteries are easy to come by or not. I'm guessing not. But it's got battery in because that was kind of a deal maker for me. Um, it's got various controls on there. And it's got controls on there and everything, and it's got it's got a lens cap on, and it's got various wires and let's see mains mains adapter I guess, and all this six pound. You want six pound for it? I didn't haggle. It's a six pound. Okay, it's six pound. Now he said he don't he. He has no reason why it wouldn't work. Um, we bought it from an auction somewhere some time ago. I guess it's been collecting dust. He's not tested it or anything. He said so. It was six quid. It might it might work. It might not. But you know, I'm I'm willing to have a go. So um, oh, and if it does, so you can see that reach just hates you. Just like to say as well. I, I have used cameras like this, you know, when I was at college a few years back now. Uh, started on these kind of cameras and, you know, you graduate, if you will, to mini DV. Then you got your the SD, you know, these tapeless things. And you got the, uh, you know, nowadays you'll have the kind of, um, uh, what do they call them now? Um, you know, DSLRs and things like that, you know. Um, but anyway, this back in the day, you, you know, when I was starting out at college and whatever, you'd have these cameras and you'd go around to stop or off wherever you live. And I'm sorry, I'm asking people questions. What do you think about the petrol crisis? That, that kind of thing. Um, so I do have um, previous with these. I think the ones we used at college were GVC something or other. Um, I, I, I've been trying to get hold of one of these cameras for a while. Um, surprisingly quite expensive, some of them. I mean, you might get some a good deal now and again on the eBay and whatever, but you know, I wouldn't know where else you get them from. I have um, plans to doing short films and things like that. 
Um, I've got a history of doing doing such things. Um, I mentioned on the very first video uh, I posted on my channel. Um, I've got an idea that will suit VHS footage. I mean, yeah, nowadays you can you can make you can shoot on a regular thing that like I'm doing now. I say camcorder that like I'm shooting that camera right there. You can't see it, but I can see it. Uh, the camera I'm using to shoot this, uh, you can use, you can do, you can shoot whatever you want. Then in editing, you can put a filter on the thing, like 16, 16 mil film, 35 mil. You can discolor it. You can do all sorts of it. You can put a filter on it, probably to make it look like a VHS, like make VHS footage. So there you go. I can't quite close this. We'll do after we finish. So um, yeah, I think a pretty good haul. I think pretty good. Um, you know, pretty successful. Like all in, I think about. 14 quid, 15 quid, it's pretty good, I don't know. Um, so let me know if you want to see more of the camera, I might do a video of me testing it or something, yeah, I don't know how that'll go, we'll see. Um, or just let me know if you want to see any wrestling videos, any reviews on anything I've got here. Sadly no um, uh, video games, you know, there's one person selling um, an uh, Xbox 360 Connect. Uh, with a couple of games, I think one of them you kind of stroke the lines or tigers or something. I mean, basically, I've got zero interest in this Kinect. I don't, I don't like the whole kind of motion control. I can do it to a point, and I get get bored with it. Anyway, with this, they also had for the original Xbox um, Super Monkey Ball Deluxe, uh, which I asked, I asked the guy. There's a couple. I asked the guy how much you want for this game. He said, oh, a pound. Oh, it's one minute. He called his wife over, I can't remember the name, and she goes, how much for this? Oh, she wanted it, I guess she told him my daughter or something. She wanted it all together. I said, well, that's fine, but this is for a different console. This is the Xbox 360, all this Kinect stuff. This game is for the original Xbox. It, you don't need, you know. But she was insistent, so I thought, you know what, bugger it. A pound. There's also someone else selling uh, Turk Evolution again, I think, for the original Xbox. Um, you know, it's a bit. You no, know, look, it looked like it's been in in the bath. You know, it's all crinkled and stuff, all the packaging and stuff. I didn't bother. And you know, it's selling it for pretty cheap, but no, it's it's fairly cheap anyway. Let me know what you reckon to all this. You know, I'm really pleased with the camera. <laughs> you know, but uh, you know, there's other things as well. You know, I want to bought them otherwise, wouldn't I? So yeah, just do that. And don't let me know down below. And also these things. Twitter, Facebook and do your modern things and I'll say hello and if you request any th any videos, ideas. Um, yeah, so we'll just see how it goes with your whole unboxing videos as and when. Um, so yeah, just let me know down below. Like, subscribe, comment, tell your friends and everything. And in the words of Lindy Cyrus, send the word. Nine, eight, seven, 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 seven.